So in this problem, we're told to use linear approximation or differentials to estimate the given number. So we're going to use linear approximation. So in order to solve this, you have to know that L of x is equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So what we have to decide is what a or what a is going to be and what f of x is. Right, so our function and what a is. So when deciding a, you basically just want to pick a number that's close to whatever uh, your exponent is. So in this case, a number that's close is 0. And if you uh, take your function and put it to that, you should try and get like a whole number. So in this case, we get 1. It goes in pretty nicely. So we're going to choose that a is going to be 0. And our function here is just going to be e to the x, right? Because it's just e with our number plugged in. So it's just going to be e to the x. So now we, what we can do is solve. So f of a is just going to be our function with respect to a. So our function is e to the x. But instead of x, we put a, right? So a is going to be 0. e to the 0 plus the derivative of f of x with respect to a. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, right? So it doesn't change. Then if we're plugging in a, we just replace it with a. But uh, we're putting in 0. So e to the 0 again. And then we're multiplying by x minus a. Right, so L of x is going to be equal to e to the 0 plus e to the 0 times x. And then I should have replaced this with a, right? So this is just 0. And then, so e to the 0 times 0, though, is just going to be 0. So we could plus 0, but it doesn't really change anything. So L of x equals e to the 0, which is just 1, plus e to the 0, which is 1 times x, so 1 plus x. So we know what x is, right? So x is just, just going to be our number here, so minus 0 0.01. So the estimation is just going to be equal to 1 plus uh, 0 0.01. So if you do that, you should get that L of x is equal to 0.99. So 0.99 is going to be our answer. So the answer to this problem is going to be 0.99.